Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyelle Kuzar and I'm the owner of Yes Event Decor and more. So a few days ago, I participated in this Valentine's Day photo shoot and I was super excited because I don't have much else going on as the world is still shut down and people are not really having events uh, due to the coronavirus. So it gave me something to do. And then also I was excited because I wanted to do a nice balloon display. I recorded the setup so you guys can one, have some behind the scenes footage to see what happens at a photo shoot. And then I also recorded my setup so you'll see how I created the backdrop and then how I created the balloon display. And make sure you stay tuned to the end because I wanted to give you guys a few tips based on my experience.
much fun at that photo shoot. I love the way that everything came out. It looked amazing and I cannot wait to see the pictures. So if you guys are planning your own photo shoot, I just wanted to give you a couple of tips or even if someone's asking you to be a part of a photo shoot, I just wanted to give you guys some tips. So number one, you want to consider bringing a change of clothes to your photo shoot. I would have loved to take pictures in front of that backdrop, but I didn't have anything to change into. I normally wear something like old and dirty and grungy because I'm there to set up, okay? So a photo shoot is a perfect opportunity for you to get pictures that you can put either on your Instagram page or on your website or wherever you wanna market, okay? So you may wanna bring a change of clothes so that you can get those pictures. So the second tip that I have for you is that when you're contributing to a photo shoot, think about what you want to market for your business. So I offer to do a balloon garland and the boxwood backdrop because I know I want to market that for my business. So with me planning for spring, that's something that I want to put on my website and market that to clients. Okay. So think about something that you want to market to your clients and then contribute that to the photo shoot. And the last tip that I have for you is not to stress yourself out with your photo shoot, okay? Don't take on more than you can handle. Usually you have like two to three hours to set up. So when you're picking a decoration or something to contribute to the photo shoot, you wanna make sure that you have enough time to set it up. You don't wanna be stressed out running around doing too much. And I'm saying that from experience, okay? This photo shoot, we had more than enough time to get everything set up and get all of the pictures that we wanted, okay? So nobody walked out of there stressed out. We were all really excited about the pictures and what we had accomplished that day. So I'll put all the links to the materials that I use in the description. If you guys have any questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.